I have already made a video telling you why you shouldn't buy Grammarly Premium and just stick to free services like Quillbot. But then I thought, wait a minute, I mean Quillbot has a premium service too, so maybe I shouldn't pass a verdict without using the premium services that a tool has to offer. So here it is, Quillbot Premium, and let's compare it to Grammarly Premium and see which one's better. I use both, so these were my experiences over the past few weeks. Now I've used Grammarly for a long time and even the premium for over a year now, so I know what to expect with the features that it has. But based on what I've seen so far, I'm sticking with my initial verdict. You probably are okay with just the free version of Quillbot. The paid one is great, you have a lot more limit to rephrase as many sentences as you want, but I found that the rephrased sentences don't always have the same context. Like they don't always translate into a better sentence after you click the rephrase button, you may have to do that multiple times. And I didn't really find the performance to be anything better than the free version because obviously it's using the same tool or the same software algorithm. Them. So even after multiple rephrases, I had to rewrite on my own even without using the tool. So that paid version didn't really help me much. Quillbot has similar grammar suggestion features just like Grammarly, but I found that it gives wrong suggestions more often. Grammarly messes up from time to time, but they have refined the product a lot. So more often than not, the sentence rewrites that Grammarly suggests me are usually better. Again, as I said, you don't have to buy Grammarly Premium. You can use Quillbot to rewrite your sentences and clean them up using Grammarly for free. But if you need that plagiarism checker, then I guess that's a valid reason to buy one of the two. Maybe it's the force of habit, but I found myself using Grammarly Premium a lot more than Quillbot Premium. I don't use Quillbot for anything more than the occasional sentence rewriting when I can't really figure out a good way of writing it. And for that, the free version is good enough. I didn't really find that much value in the paid version. So if you're a student or someone just practicing, go with the free version of all of these apps. But if you're someone who's looking for a professional app to use to make money, then I suggest you go for Grammarly Premium. If you have the money to spend on any one tool, then Grammarly Premium offers you more refined features. And after all, that's better value for money, right? When you get something that actually works well, then it justifies paying a price for it. If not, why are you even upgrading? You might as well use the free version, right? Quillboard is great, as I said, but I don't think it needs a paid upgrade. I didn't see the value there. So there you have it. Between the two premium editions, I think Grammarly is a better choice. If not, use the free versions as I mentioned earlier. Write your sentences as a rough draft, rephrase it using Quillbot if you need it, and then put it in Grammarly for the final corrections. You'll be left with a really good looking copy for basically free. And then once you start making money from it, you can justify the paid upgrade the way I have. So there you go. Hopefully you appreciate this brief comparison. I try to make it as short and simple as possible. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more helpful tips like this.